Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually filming this for the second time, which is why I don't have any of the packaging. Um, I didn't really like how it turned out the first time, so I'm trying a little bit of a different setup. But today's video is going to be an Etsy sticker haul. I'm going to be doing this in multiple parts, so kind of like a collective haul just as I get the packages in. The first order that I got in was from White Deer Stationery. Sorry, I'm just covering up my address there. And she gives you a paper invoice, which is really awesome. So the first item I got was this cute little paper clip, and it is in the shape of a deer with some antlers. I thought this would be perfect for fall. It's just super cute and gold, and this was $3.89 Canadian dollars. This was the sampler that I got in my order. It has a half box here. Um, a happy mail, a planner, a pumpkin paper clip, and then she has these mini kawaii items. Okay, the first kit I got is called Hello Fall, and this is a $20 kit and $1.50 for the date covers. This is the first page. So here is your deco with this cute little girl, and this says Happy Fall. You have an appointment label, cancelled, a habit tracker, an ombre heart checklist, and some half boxes. The next page you have your headers here and your little extras as she calls them. The weekend banner, another habit tracker, and some little mini icons. Here are the full boxes. I'll try and zoom you guys in a little bit more for these. So this is gold glitter. This says Hello Fall, and I really like that this is like warm fall colors, but it's not super dark like a lot of other kits that I've seen. So here is the bottom washi again with that gold glitter. You have a weekly tracker here and some washi strips at the top. Here are the date covers that, like I said, were a $1.50 add-on. And here are the heart checklists. I have a second kit that I ordered from the White Deer Stationery Etsy shop, and this is called Floral Deer. And this is formatted a little bit differently. It was only $16, and it does not come with full box heart checklists, and I think that's um, the reason for the um, price difference, and also didn't have date cover-ups offered. So, I just picked up what there was. This is the deco. The deco is really big, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find a lot of space to put those in, but it is really cute. And your half box is here. And then here are your headers, your heart checklist flags, and mini heart checklists, a weekend banner, and these two flags are adorable with the dough and buck on there. Here is the bottom washi and the regular washi, and then you have a habit tracker and a weekly tracker there. And then here are the full boxes. And I love the navy and the wood grain right here. I think I'm going to try and use this in November um, because I think the navy will go really well with the Erin Condren colors. Hey guys, the second shop I ordered from is Allison Jensen Crafts Co. And I got one full kit, and then I got an oopsie bag, which is probably the favorite part of my order, which probably sounds really strange, but it is. And I can see that the focus is a lot better on this part of the haul, which I'm glad. I'm really sorry about the first part. My camera was just not cooperating. So first I'm going to show you the Thanksgiving kit. I did get this on removable matte paper and I added the date covers. So the full kit was $20.50 and that's in Canadian dollars of course. So the first page of this kit is the full boxes and I love that this has maple leaves, the pumpkin pie, a pumpkin, and a pumpkin spice latte. This just screams Thanksgiving for me. And I'm really happy that I got a hold of a Thanksgiving kit that I really loved. Canadian Thanksgiving is more than a month before American Thanksgiving, which it's essentially the same thing, but then all of the Etsy sticker shops, which there's a lot more American ones, of course, 
they don't release their Thanksgiving kits in time for me to get them. So I'm really happy that I got a hold of one that I love. The next page of the kit is the date covers. And then on this page, you get a ton of extra deco, which is adorable. And this little banner flag says, Happy Thanksgiving. Here are your half boxes, quarter boxes, appointment labels, and then these are flags here. And then you have some mini flags. And these are a little bit different than your standard teardrop. They're kind of guitar pick shaped, so I really like those. Here are your heart checklists. This sheet has a ton of functional icons, which I really like. The weekend banner, some like dollar signs on flags, some more deco, um, some little tiny functional stickers. These ones are squared off though. And then here is a bunch of kind of side sidebar stickers. So you have like weekly trackers here and then habit trackers, which I've never seen a habit tracker sticker that actually has four that are hooked together. I usually see them kind of separated, but that's a really cool idea. Here are the little things and headers at the top. So you have this grayish shade a kind of burnt orange, a yellowy shade, and kind of a steel blue. And the reason this sticker, I'm not really sure if you guys can tell, it's all messed up. Um, when I got my kit and took it out of the cellophane bags, this was actually stuck to the sheet that was above it and ripped off and crumpled it up. I tried to stick it back on there as best I could, but I was kind of disappointed about that. And of course the last page is your bottom washi, which is adorable, and then you have all of these washi strips as well. So I'm really happy with this Thanksgiving kit. I can't wait to use it and I'm so glad that I actually did get a Thanksgiving kit that I really loved uh, in time for Canadian Thanksgiving. And this was the sampler that I got in my order. It is very bright. I'm so sorry. So you have a half box I'm going to keep my hand here to keep the light out. You have a half box, which is Halloween themed, a fallback sticker, which is great because I always forget to put my clocks back, and then some great functional ones. And so in my oopsie bag, she promises 10 plus sheets for only $10. So I was sure that I was going to get like crappy stickers, like just junk, and the only thing that I can see are that like the cut lines on some of them aren't that great and like the cut lines on the sheets themselves so here's an example if you can see like all of these pieces coming off but that doesn't actually affect the quality of the stickers themselves some of these dots are a little bit crooked on there where it's cut but I can still use them perfectly as a circle like there's no white part of the sticker. I don't know. I'll get into all the stickers, but I am so happy that I picked up this oopsie bag and I will definitely be doing that from now on with other shops too. I was always skeptical about buying them because I didn't want to waste my money, but this is actually such a good deal. So I'm going to go through what was in the oopsie bag from the Allison Jensen, Jensen Crafts Co. Sorry. So we have some glitter laundry baskets here, which are super cute. The dots that I already showed. Some glitter planners. Glitter cars. And then this must have been one of her samplers uh, from another kit. These are look kind of galaxy or space themed, so I don't know if she has a kit like that, but she must have in the past, or maybe she does currently still, I just didn't see it. So those were the smaller stickers that were in my oopsie bag, and then we have basically two full kits, which I was super happy. So I'll go through this one first. This is a like foxy fall kit. I've seen a lot of shops uh, use this clip art, but I am missing a few pieces to having a full kit, but I'm sure I can pick them up from another shop that does a la carte kits. 
So here is the first page. And this is the bottom washi and the regular washi. Here are the little things and functional dots and you have some decorative items over here. You have your date cover-ups and a ton of deco at the bottom. Those little foxes are so cute. Here are your sidebar items, a ton of functional dots just like the other kit, your weekend banner and some more deco over here. And these colors are going to be great for the fall. And so that's all that I have from this kit, but I could easily pick up full boxes and checklists. And lastly, we have this, which is also almost a full kit. And this is Halloween themed, which I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of use of. I already have two Halloween kits on their way, so I can always save it for next year. Okay, so first we have the full boxes. These spiders are really cute, and I love the colors that she chose. And I actually got two of the sheets of full boxes uh, in this kit. Well, it was an oopsie bag, so that's why. Here is your bottom washi and regular washi strips. And also I got this little sampler, just like the Galaxy one I got, but this one actually matches the Halloween kit that I got. And the sampler that she sent with my order, like the sampler that everyone got, matches the Halloween spread. So I'm super happy about that. Here we have our headers and a ton more functional items, your sidebar stickers, more functional dots, weekend banner, and then we're back. So we have a t absolute ton of functional dots, just try and show you. Like, I'm never going to be able to use all of these in one spread, but I always save my leftover kits to use in other spreads, but there are a ton to choose from, which is actually a really great idea. And the only thing I'm missing in this kit are date covers and um, full box checklists or just heart checklist flags. So I almost have a full kit to use, but I can't believe that I got this stuff in an oopsie bag. And to me, it doesn't even look like these stickers are that poorly cut or that any of them would be unusable. Like maybe the cut lines aren't perfectly in the box as they should be, but they peel up fine. Um, so I am super lucky to have gotten this and I hope all of her oopsie bags are like that and I definitely plan on ordering from her again. I will most definitely be picking up another oopsie bag. So I'm super pleased with both of the orders that I shared today. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I will be um, filming this in parts as I get my orders in. This is obviously the first time I filmed at this angle um, with my camera facing down so it took me quite a while to figure out um, how best to do this. I obviously have a tripod which if I zoom out like you can see the pieces of. So just trying to get that to work for the first time was quite difficult for me so I hope you enjoyed this part of the video and I will see you when my next order comes in. Hey guys, I'm back again for the second part of this haul. I actually just got four more packages, but I will be splitting this up into another video. So I'm going to show you the package that I ordered the earliest um, out of the four I just got. So this package is from the Paperly Boutique. This is the second order I have placed with them. And I really liked her format. Her shop is a la carte. So the first order, she's actually the first shop I ever ordered from. And so I only got the like basic mini kits. And then as my planning has evolved, I wanted to pick up the other pieces of the kit that I had left over because I thought the navy would be perfect for November. 
So this must be the freebie that she's giving out right now. It is kind of birthday themed. There's a pink birthday cake, a half box, it's party time, and some cute little deco. This will be really great for my birthday in January. I will definitely uh, be using this. The next thing I picked up was the Big Book of Boutique Hello September collection. She started to make these little books of stickers and they almost always have a theme. So I picked up the September ones just for some extra like themed, monthly themed stickers. So on this page we have some appointment labels, some headers, a stackable sidebar, flags, and a full box that says stay humble, work hard, and be kind. I really like that quote. Then we have some more functional things here. There's a ton of half boxes, flags, ombre heart checklists, some bigger flags, mini flags. We have some half circles here, some appointment labels that are like arrows, and two full boxes. And we also have some um, check marks and hearts and little banners here. It's really cute. And then we have a lot of icons, a weekend banner, some functional deco and some dots. You could use this whole book in like a personal spread. There's quite a lot in here that you could make a personal size spread out of, but I just picked it up for some extra little things if I need to pull from anything I would like to use the September colors. I would tell you all the prices, but she actually didn't send an invoice with my order. So I don't have the prices with me, but I will link her shop down below. So the next thing I got were these Happy Mail stickers and I really like the color she chose and also um, if you can see there's little dots on the envelope and I think that's really cute and it has a little heart on the side as well. Um, lately I've been needing more Happy Mail stickers than what typically comes in kits because I've been ordering so many stickers so these will really come in handy to add to my spreads. A few more functional sheets I picked up. I picked up these Payday stickers, just multicolored. I've noticed not every kit that I buy has Payday stickers. Um, I do get paid bi-weekly, so sometimes it's not important, but I would like to keep track of my Paydays in my planner. And the next thing we have here are grocery carts. I go grocery shopping every week, sometimes more than once, so this will be another good thing to get. These look quite washed out on camera, but it's because they are super, super pastel. So they kind of gradiate. They're all the same color, but these ones are really light, and then they get more bold as you move down the sheet, which is actually really a really cute idea. So this is the kit that I bought. Like I said, I do have the mini kit already, and I bought the other pieces of it to add. Um, to make a full like no white space spread with it. When I started I was just buying mini kits uh, like when I first started decorative planning in my Erin Condren because I wasn't sure like if I would stick with it. It was a new hobby. Now obviously um, I'm starting to include it on my channel. It's become something I do every single week so I wanted to pick up the other pieces that go along with that mini kit. And this is the New Beginnings kit and it is on matte paper. So here we have bottom washi. This washi isn't too wide so I'll probably stack the skinny washi with the wider washi. Here are the headers. So we have to do odds and ends today and then ones for your sidebar. Here are the full boxes. I just really like the navy touches in this kit and like I said earlier I think it will really go well with November. Here are the ombre heart checklists and your little things, or as she calls them, odds and ends. So there is a ton to choose from here. So that was everything that I picked up from the Paperly Boutique. So that will complete this part of the haul. Like I said, I have three more packages that I just received and I'll be putting that in a separate video. I don't want these to be too long. Um, but if you do prefer longer hauls, um, just let me know and I can do that. But for now, I'm just going to stick with doing three orders per video. I think that will be better for me and uh, allow me to get these hauls up a little quicker for you guys because a shorter video would take obviously less time to edit 
and I'll be able to get these up in a more timely manner when these stickers are hopefully still available in their shops. I will leave um, all the shops that are in this haul linked below. I really hope you guys are enjoying the addition of planner videos onto my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!